Let's say that you have a lot of data in an Excel spreadsheet, such as in this example, and you want to keep the top row visible as you scroll down. To do this, make sure you're in the View tab near the top of the spreadsheet. From here, in the Windows section near the top of the spreadsheet, left-click on the Freeze Panes icon. Next, in the pop-up box, left-click on Freeze Top Row. And now, if we scroll down, you can see the top row remains visible. To undo this, we again go to Freeze Panes, and then we left-click on Unfreeze Panes. If we want to keep the first column, column A, visible, we again left-click on Freeze Panes, and in the pop-up box, left-click on Freeze First Column. And now, if we scroll right, column A remains visible. I'm going to undo this by left-clicking on Unfreeze Panes. So now let's say that you want to freeze a different row. Let's say that row 100 has a repeat header, as you see here. To freeze this row, left-click on the row number beneath it, row 101, so it is highlighted. Next, under the View tab, left-click on the Freeze Panes icon. And in the pop-up box, left-click on Freeze Panes. Now, if I scroll down, you can see that this row, 100, and what's above it remains in place. So again, I'm going to unfreeze it. One more example. To freeze a random column, let's say column C. Left-click on the column letter to the right of it, column D, so it is highlighted. Next, left-click on the Freeze Panes icon, and in the pop-up box, left-click on Freeze Panes. Now, if I scroll to the right, you can see that this column and what is to the left of it remains in place. And that is how you freeze rows and columns. All right, my friends, hopefully you got something out of this video. I do have sh sh more videos right there for you. Till next time, I am out of here.